In this video, I'm going to be deriving an equation of finding the time t for n complete oscillation of a simple pendulum. But we know that the period of oscillation of a simple pendulum is given as t equals 2 pi square root of L divided by G and we also know that T is equal to small t divided by N so let me call this equation 1 and this equation 2 now substituting equation 1 into equation or rather equation 2 into equation 1 I'm going to have this t divided by n equals 2 pi square root of l divided by g then on squaring both sides I'm going to have t squared divided by n squared equals 4 pi squared times L divided by G. Now I'm just going to plug in values for pi and G. So on plugging values, I'm going to have T squared divided by N squared is equal to 4 times 3.14 an approximated value for pi squared times L divided by 9.8 which is the value of G so I can just work this this way so I'm substituting this value I'm going to have 4 times 3.14 squared divided by 9.8 that is going to give me an approximate value of 4.024. So I have t squared divided by n squared is equal to 4.024 n. So I have to cross multiply by moving this upwards. I'm going to have t squared equals 4.024 n squared. L. So on taking the square root of both sides, I'm going to have t equals square root of 4.024 n squared times L. So I'll take the square root of this. The square root of 4.024. That is equal to 2.0. So t is equal to 2.00. 6, I'll take that to 3 decimal places, then the square root of n squared is n times root l. So with this, we'll be able to calculate the time to complete an n oscillation and if we have you know, whatever the length is in meters, l is length in meters and n is equal to number of oscillations now take for instance if we have n equals 20 oscillations and we know the length of the pendulum to be equal to say 80 centimeter which is the same as 0.8 meters then the time to complete that 20 oscillation is going to be t equals 2.006 times 20 oscillation times the square root of 0 0.8 so i'm just going to work this out so i'm going to have 2.006 times 20 times the square root of 0 0.8 
So that's going to give me 35.88. So t is equal to 35.88 seconds. So the time taken to complete 20 oscillations when the length of the pendulum is 80 cm is 35.88 seconds. So we have an approximate value because we have to approximate some values at this point and also at this point. Okay, in my next video, I'm going to determine the value of the time for n oscillation for a vibrating spring. So a spring that is also performing simple harmonic motion. So stay tuned for that.